I had a really, really strong winter and I was really excited to race. I knew I was in a really good place. So it was quite upsetting just to be like, right, well, I don't know when that's going to happen. But you kind of, I just tried to flip on my head um, and say, right, it's got, I've got another year to be even stronger. I've got another year to surprise everybody. And I already knew I was pushing well. So I know that hopefully that means I'll be pushing even better. And it's just trying to keep motivated. And but as soon as lockdown kind of came in, I thought, it's probably best for me to head out of the city and head down to mom and dad's and the borders just because they live on the farm. So we have that little bit more space, obviously tracks, gyms and everything were shut in Glasgow, we're shut everywhere. So luckily we have a gym in the garage, so I can still use all of that. I have rollers and things as well, which means that I can train indoors. It was just really the best option. Obviously it meant that I wasn't going to be on my own either. So I was lucky enough that mom and dad were more than happy just for me to come back and spend the, the, foreseeable future with them and I know that you unexpectedly fell in love through going back home I did my dad when I was younger I used to beg him for a lamb and I totally understand why now that he never gave me one <laughs> come on come on what's this she pees a lot um, she mays at me all the time it's like I've given birth and I don't even know about it Ready, one. she knows her name I called her Ruby like, I love her. <laughs> like, I, she's like my, I feel like she's my own already. And um, they promised me that obviously she'll be weaned off milk um, at 13 weeks. Then I'll have to introduce her to sheep because I don't, I don't think she knows that she's a sheep yet. <laughs> I'm going to keep her for life. So she'll, um, she'll have lambs in two years time, which will be really exciting. And then eventually one day, once obviously my, my sport is over and I have a bit more time, I, I do plan to get a little bit a little bit of ground and they've promised me that I can have her in my own back garden. What would you say are some of the qualities required to deal with lockdown? I think I always try to remember that I'm sure I'm more than certain that there is someone out there that's going through something harder than I'm going through and I think that's all that's all I ever try to think about you know whenever I had my accident it was the thing that always got me through was knowing fine that there was people across the room from me that were facing far harder conditions than I was facing that weren't able to move their arms or their neck or even breathe for themselves and I think whatever I've gone through or whatever I'm thinking and whatever's happened to me is I always just think I'm sure there's someone else that's going through something far harder and they're going through it and they're getting up and carrying on so that so I know that I can as well and, and I think that's what keeps me pushing through is just knowing that, knowing that I can get up and go on and, and hopefully I can achieve great things. I would love to get under that 16 second barrier. No one's ever done it in my classification before in the 100 metres. So that is that is my aim. Um, I know that us girls are we're getting really close to it now and I know that it's achievable um, eventually, hopefully. Um, that's what I really want. But that's what I'm training for just now and pushing for and is trying to get my arms to go as fast as possible and get under that 16 second barrier, which would be incredible. I love the thought of breaking barriers. And once you break a barrier, you know, it's like when you get under that, you know, that, that minute for 400 meters and you're like, that's so easy. How, how did I never done that before? Or you get under the, the four minute barrier for 1500 meters and you think, well, how come I struggled so much for that? And I'm sure it'll be the exact same when you once the girls start going under 16 seconds, it'll be like, oh, okay, this, this is fine. Why haven't we done this before? And, you know, it's just trying to make, you know, Paralympic sport get better and faster and uh, stronger and that's what I'd love to do and obviously to win an Olymp a Paralympic medal is that's the dream that's why I'm doing it is to be in the middle of that podium one day and, and win a Paralympic medal and hear my national anthem and so that's what I'm striving for I hope to keep going for as long as possible I know that one day it's probably going to be more marathons when I, my arms start to slow down slightly and I can't do 100 meters anymore and obviously you get to see some incredible cities doing marathons and um, so that'll be in my future I'm sure but hopefully still, you know, 10 years or so in my future.